What is going on, guys? It's your boy 8675309858, and we're getting ready to do one badass trip that's gonna happen in a matter of time. Right now, I am here currently at my house, getting ready to leave to head over to Apopka, to then eventually the next day heading over to Daytona to get ready to go to the Coke Zero 400, where we're gonna be with Michael and a whole bunch of others. So let's get on. Very special surprise. One badass experience we'll probably never forget. I hope you guys are to for this awesome experience. Hopefully, we'll meet a lot more NR people as the time goes on by when Saturday comes around. But for right now, we got to get to a popka. It's a two hour drive. This is the time where we're going to zip on through to get to the drive. So, whoop! So, after a couple hours of driving, I am finally here at a popka. We're getting ready to meet up with Michael very, very soon. I'm partially nervous and not surprised. I'm wearing these bad boys. Got a little hard. So as you see, I've made it to Apopka. I have no idea which here he is right now. McKinley Man 93. It took three hours to fucking do, but we're here. We're getting ready to watch the Xfinity race that's gonna go down pretty soon. Like what? Like at this point, what? Ten minutes, I think. Uh, maybe half hour. Yeah, something like that. So we'll be watching that. We'll be watching on over here and all that. Oh, I lied. Oh, it's coming up soon. Oh, it is. Oh, good. All right, there we go. It's so fucking empty. There we go. Oh yeah, I got a green flag too. Here we go. Do you know how excited Regalit was? Yeah, right. Green flag. No, no, I wasn't was flat. Yeah. Green flag. Like greatest reaction ever. Jesus, what the fuck are you doing? What? Twenty one. I love how it looks like a mix of like Dale Jr. scheme and it's like whatever else scheme. It looks like two and one. Yeah, right. Oh well, I'm out So unfortunately, the rain has came to Daytona. Michael's getting ready to play right this season as well. We're getting ready to play a couple rounds and all that just to kill time. At the same time, also on TeamSpeak, I'm using my phone. He's using the laptop, doing a little bit of multitasking. So we're just trying to do what we can. So, I guess if the rain comes, what's going to happen? Well, if, if the rain ends up canceling the Xfinity race, uh, most likely they'll push the Xfinity race till about 11 a.m. tomorrow. And then we, while we go out to the racetrack, we just got to pray that, we just got to pray that uh, there's no rain that comes during the, right after the Xfinity race and maybe we'll be able to do a ride along then. Rain, rain, go away, basically. The Florida weather. Because Florida weather basically sucks. Well, the rain didn't just hold off until right now for Daytona, yeah. so hopefully I can do the same tomorrow. Like, there's a part of us that are hoping, like, the rain goes away at the same time, like, it doesn't go away. Right. So, it's kind of, like, in the middle, but, like, you don't know what to expect. But at the same time, we're still going to have a good experience, it's just as long as it doesn't rain during the evening. That's what counts. I'm to check my email, because maybe they, uh, they could have always have sent me an email. True. So, in the meantime, uh, we're currently under the red flag. Right now for the Xfinity race, so if anything else happens, you guys know in advance. So it looks like they have the race to noon tomorrow. So now we're getting ready to watch the 2002 Coke 0400. Those are good ass times. So it looks like we're going to leave around uh, pretty early in the morning. I just don't know what time exactly. Probably 7? 9? Yeah. We're going to wake up at like 7 30. Yeah. So that's what's going to happen though. I I probably will. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes nonetheless, though. All I know is this is going to be one interesting uh, week, so that should be interesting enough. Except for one little rain pattern that's trying to form yeah. around Gainesville. So hopefully, I, I guarantee you all the rednecks, everyone at Daytona, they're trying to do some telga dance or some weird type of dance to take the rain go away. Weird type of dance. So we probably won't be here too long and then, uh, just, you know, at least try to get ourselves awake more. We'll probably get something to eat. I'll probably shoot one of the monsters down and go from there and we'll haul ass at Daytona. So we 
have arrived at Daytona. We're going underneath the track. Michael's got it with me, so we're going underneath the tunnel here. This is going to be really, really cool. Absolutely. Something, something that, for the first time, and I don't know if the only time ever, we'll ever get to do this ever again. We only, I, last time, last time we got to do this, or well, at least me personally, was when we had to walk and go to the, to go to the fan zone. We're actually in the tunnel, about to come up. I'm guessing we're following all these cars here to where we're supposed to be and then we'll be good to go we're still kind of new no figure this out and all that but uh this is really really cool nonetheless so it, it actually blows my mind and wow look at this here holy crap absolutely this is, this is awesome look at that's uh turn one over here on the right side you can see where the daytona logo is right there i mean this is unreal i mean you know when you're a fan a regular fan you can't imagine looking from the actual fans but this is from the infield how this is and you can actually see i don't know if you can the monster energy logo right over there but this is rather so neat and all that i mean this blows my mind really absolutely and you know what uh we'll actually we should probably end this here so we can concentrate on driving and we'll, we'll get back to everything whenever we get parked of course we'll be up with all the others too at the same time so we can't wait for that So you can just also see the view going around this, where it all goes around, from the grandstands, even mostly turn one, you can also see real well, heading into turn two, a little bit of the back stretch, and then you really wouldn't be able to see turn three and four, heading on down what would be the start finish line right back over to here. But it's crazy to believe, we're actually in the end of the first time, I've never thought this day would ever happen. I can't believe I'm saying this, I'm feeling a raindrop. Yeah, it's just oh a dark my. cloud. So we're out of the infield. We're going into the, um, uh, by the Florida hospital area over here to get into there for Xfinity, hopefully. Same time, they do have a bunch of stuff coming around here. They got Ford out here with uh, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, and Joey Logano's cars, and everyone's taking photos of all that stuff. Uh, right over there, Michael. And then um, a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll probably look at all that like after Xfinity. So right now, we'll probably just walk around, or you want to check that out right now. You want to go by the cars? Yep. Why? So you can give the bird to uh, Logano and Kislovsky? I want a picture of Logano next to Logano's car. Well, I bet you do. I know I'm getting one by Brad, so I know that for a fact. All right, let's go right now. So we're inside the Coca-Cola thing here, and they got a whole bunch of stuff over here. A lot of memorabilia and all that. Oh, too soon. So they have a bunch of die casts. They got Carbon, Kyle Petty, Coke CR400, and then a couple of Tony Stewart cars. Coca-Cola cans, the drivers and all. piece of race used sheet metal from the event. There's a lot of Coca-Cola memorabilia around here. And then uh, a couple years ago, the 500 winner, Joe Logano. Cool. And then they have Bobby Allison's Coca-Cola car here, which looks really nice. Tony Stewart ran that at uh, Darlington last year. Very nice, so holy cow. So another meetup in the bags. We got Kyle Keith going around. Now, a couple of cell drivers now here. So now we're kind of rolling around Daytona. It's kind of raining and patches and all around. Over here it's downpour and over there it's light. But the air tight's roaming around and that they're covering up some of the cars and on and off and all. They don't know how it's going to be, but they're trying to get this race going. They want a winner so they can get ready for the Coke Zero race on night. But man, this is crazy though. I don't know where we're going to be exactly, but uh, hopefully we'll get some good seats to be able to watch a race. So let's hope, hope for the best there. Caution flag of this race after a lengthy red flag, taking the opportunity to make a stop, including William Byron, Justin Allgaier, and Tyler Reddick as the field we go. will come to the green flag. This time, the resumption of the Coca-Cola Firecracker 250 after a 16 and a half hour delay. Yeah. We start Paul. Here is Altamonte. A couple of tours. So we literally went about stage and a half and it, and it looks like there's thunder. 
thunder along the way and lightning. No rain, but thunder and lightning. That sucks. We're back out here again. Hey, what did you guys think of the race so far? Was it good? Well, I mean, that's Florida for you in a nutshell. So they're getting everyone all around here to get out of the stands and at least find cover. Hey, it's but, been racing nice all last year, so that's yeah, right. But from what it looks like, I, I think the rain is not there. It's just all thunder and lightning, so that's a good sign. So hopefully everything will change from what I'm aware with Noah and the gang. They should be here pretty soon. So what do you know? While we're waiting in the rain, these three finally showed up. It took them fucking two hours, but they finally made it. Noah Hart, Field of Bandicoot, Jacob Hart, Nick Mace. Well, I'm 6'6", six, six, so what can I say? I, I was amazed when I seen Jacob. I'm like, holy shit, he's actually the closest one to me. He showed up here. Hold on, hold on. I guarantee once they turn it back loose, that'll change for sure. So now we've come across Eric Burton. I know he's going to be like that because you know what? Like Noah's got his camera, I got my GoPro, and he's just, I'm just here. Yeah, he's, he's like the super laid back guy, even while being on the computer. He's like, you know what?
just punted William Byron between one and two, and that's going to propel him to the lead. Well, Brandon Jones gets oh. two. Michael and that is one. Matt Tift. Now, oh my Taylor God! Collide. Half the field flying Are the you the serious? Are you serious? Ryan Reed is in it. He could oh fly my and God! Stop the banking in the middle of turn number three. Four cars continue oh, to spin shit. down the apron of the racetrack. Cole Custer is in it. Just another ah. guy. Ah, Cole Custer. Ah, 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 the grass inside turns three and four. Well, folks, we've talked about it throughout the course Jeff of this race. We have worked our way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the of this event, yeah the Custer, you suck. Here at you Daytona. suck, Custer. Mike, that all just went out the window. Oh, there we go. Three. No. All day long, suddenly uh, in contention for the victory. It's just checking the scoring monitor. Eric Jones has not led a lap in this race. Kyle, you mentioned the fact he restarts in the second position. Right, Lines up to the outside going. of race leader William Byron. Byron's had a strong car here, especially in the latter stages of the race. He has led for some 26 laps. February winner, Ryan Reed, behind the wall and to the NASCAR Xfinity Series garage. His afternoon is done. As for the rest Come of on, the field, Sadler! Turn four, pace car it makes that hard left on the pit road. Two laps to settle in here at Daytona International Speedway. restart for Byron, but Elliot Sadler now shifts to the outside lane. Yeah. That allows Eric Jones to plummet toward the back. He's in trouble right now. Dakota Armstrong to the inside of Elliot Sadler. Oh, so it's Byron Byron. by himself by a couple of car lengths. Then Armstrong and Sadler oh, second and third. They are side by side for that number two position. Oh. Fishing for their back. One Damn man. Around. It's Garen Smithley. Ty Dillon. Spencer Holy Gallagher. shit. Also got there. two of the cars it's in there. Mike Harmon's spinning. The other machine that's been to the inside. Mark Thompson. Over. Five cars collected on the back straightaway. And they're still spinning up into turn number three. Cars continue to crash yeah, out of turn number three. Tyler out. Reddick also it's involved over. into the grass. It's the over. field was past the overtime yes, line yes. on the back straightaway. Wow. That's good. The Coca-Cola Firecracker 250. We are on. Wait, what? Look at one to go here at Daytona Look, International like Speedway, Kurt. I'm in. Last couple of years with this 19-year-old rookie driver. And here we go. Who's ready for this place to go nuts? Brad's gonna get the win. 
Uh, wild card, you know what? I'm going to go on a limb and say Eric Jones steals a win. Get wild card. Well, here, just thinking about the member, guys. Uh, for, I mean, this is going to be going up like in a week's time. Hopefully, people don't get mad about it. Junior and Elliot, they're good at, at qualifying. They choke in the race. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whenever they'll win, it's either luck or something happens earlier in the race that gets them up there. But he never can actually outright win. Except for 04, okay? He outright won that. So. Other than that, they choke. I'm ready to hear a trigger in the comment section. So. Junior! Junior! Don't worry, he's not my. Those fans aren't like Michael. He's actually cool about it. So we'll see what happens. I'll get you guys for the green flag. Cheer for Kyle, the crash. Oh, damn. All right, who made it through? Austin Dillon, no! Oh, dang it. There's Truex. Yeah, still a good ball. Suck it, bitch. There's Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that happened near the back. I was afraid Dale was going to get up in there. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. I think so. I hope they show it again. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Logano. Oh, it was somebody else. Look, he's sideways. Larson spins it. Boo! Nah, JK. JK. Good save by Kyle Larson. Yeah, right? 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 Yeah, Uh, so we can get closer to get 
out of here when the race is over. The gears are so crisp anymore, it sounds like they, uh, there's a quick gear box in the Yeah. So, other than that, race getting close, we're on lap 99. We're getting close to the end of the race, but I'll tell you what, Junior was down two laps, came back being down two laps. He's a 17. I don't know if he can do it, but if he does, we'll see. So we got hit with another red flag that happened. Larson got hit in the air. Kyle, you're, you're getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I want to beat the traffic. I had a two-hour drive home. I got to get up for work in the morning. And it's probably going to take me two hours to get out of here if I don't go now. So it's been a hell of a ride. Hell of a time. My guy, my car. Go to where do you want to stay for the finish? It's up to you guys. I don't care what I'm up. This is as quick for you. By the time we get down there, we'll get the cars going. Yeah, all right. So, I mean, I got to go. I'll say if you want to check out Kyle's stuff, then he'll be on he'll be on Arizona Race Hub, and I know he'll hopefully get in our one day. The keyword one day. Work at school has been hindering my uh, attendance. And of course, he can't get in our to work. Hey, right, take care, Kyle. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. All right, take care. Check out Michael's channel. I'll be sure to hit the link down below and check out his channel, all that, especially whether it's Tennessee Ray or even his channel alone. So, yeah, but no matter what, appreciate it. So no now, problem. head on now. I'm gonna head back. To so I'm gonna see you when we get to home. Thank you. Well, guys, I'm just about home. I only got a little bit left to go, but um, what a trip this was. This was absolutely fantastic. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully I'll do something like this ever again. Whether if I'm going to be at Daytona or hell, even Homestead for all that matters. and Or even Sebring, you know, one of those tracks. Or at least someone to meet up with like guys in the community and all that stuff. So, it, it's been a surreal trip, really. And now I am just about to turn into that corner where I go to the house. Right about here. Alright, so now I'm officially home. I feel great. So I'm going to stretch out edit this video and all that stuff just for you guys. If you like what you've seen this whole trip, be sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe. If you're already there, hit that subscribe button. Don't worry, guys. Pretty soon, I will be back to getting some uploads going on pretty soon, hopefully. It's just a matter of making sure my dad's going to be all right. Nonetheless, thank you guys for watching, and until then, peace.